Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back for more Uta Macross update videos. Yes, this video is kind of a continuation from the last video I did where we talked about what you should technically do um, within Uta Macross during the last few days of its runtime. So today it's a more advanced update, um, more like advanced advice uh, for those of you who are still actually playing the game because I'm assuming that a majority of you guys probably will have dropped out from the game after the announcement of the game's closure. Um, some of you might feel like, you know, there's really no reason to play anymore because you don't get anything out of it. But for those who are diehard Macross fans, you know that during this time period, the game company, or rather the, the game developers, uh, tossed out you know, a bunch of free stuff to the Macross fans um, that is available within this game itself. And yes, the, those of you who are actually following me on Instagram and of course uh, YouTube during, uh, you know, when I post up all the information on the community wall as well regarding the time Macross, you probably know that um, as of yesterday, they now actually announced that they're going to give out episode plates for free. Um, for each of the divas within the game itself. So there's technically 10 divas, or rather 9 divas plus Basara, because guys cannot be considered divas, apparently. <laughs> but, you know, America can say otherwise. Anyways, <laughs> so today they just released the information as of um, 12 noon in Japan. Um, they now posted this particular post on their official Uta Macross uh, Twitter page, they are asking the fans which of the four episode plates of Freya, so yes, the very first diva to go up for voting is Freya, which of the four episode plates do the fans actually want as a free gift. So, out of the four pictures, you can instantly see three of them are seven star episode plates, while Yami Kure's Freya episode plate, we all know, is recently released as well um, from last month and it's a six star episode play <laughs> so guys please vote smartly seven star episode plates are very very hard to come by considering that you know they have less than a one percent chance of appearance uh, every time you do a gacha pool so the Smart choice is definitely to vote for a 7 star episode play, especially for the costume that you do not have. Considering that if you are a Freya fan, it is definitely a costume that you want to attain if it's missing from your collection. I myself, as a person who has been archiving with High Macross for everyone here, uh, the community of Macross, you know, I will definitely like to try and attain all the missing costumes that I'm, you know, shot off to archive. Um, but of course, you know, there are certain limits to what I can do as well. So therefore, eventually, I will need the help of everyone um, who's willing to lend out a helping hand to archive Uta Macross. Uh, and yes, my Uta, or rather my channel on YouTube has definitely become a history museum for Uta Macross. Uh, <laughs> so it's funny, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of hilarious, um, and yeah, anyways, so we're working hard to trying to do that, uh, I for myself, I'm trying to go for the first episode plate, which is mark number one, um, I don't have that for Freya, um, the rest of the costumes, however, I technically do have, so I'm good for Freya, but when it comes to Sharonome, I'm going to have a bit of a uh, blunder or pain, <laughs> you know, um, because there are quite a few of Sharonome's seven-star episode plates that are actually missing. So, Sharonome fans, I would definitely need your help eventually. Um, so yeah, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> so guys, I will link the Twitter post for voting in the description down below. Make sure you guys go ahead and um, you know vote for the essential seven star episode. Late, please don't vote for Yami Kure Freya. It is just a ridiculous choice. 
don't fall for Dana's trap. Be smart about it. Go for the harder to attain seven star episode plates. All right. With that said, let's move on to the extremely long portion of this video. Uh, for those of you who are actually here to, you know, up your game for the last few days of the time across. So I only gave a very brief description on the last what to do video in Time Across. Um, so today we're going to dive in a bit of a, you know, uh, details that you probably might have overlooked uh, unless, well, if you guys have been playing the last few days since the game's closure announcement, you might have noticed that, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that. Good for you, because if you are paying attention to what you can probably optimize with your gameplay, uh, you definitely know that these are the essential moves that you really need at this point in time if you are trying to archive for a particular diva or you know for your waifu or husband though or uh, maybe you're just trying to help me out as well um, to archive you know uh, some of the important costume Valkyries you know and of course the live performances that kind of stuff um, so yeah here we go it's gonna take a while so strap in sit down, make yourself comfortable, get a cup of drink, you know, and let's go through this together. So first things off, um, as you can tell, I'm actually having Ranka on the main screen, although in the last few videos I've been having Min Mei around. Technically, Min Mei should be on my main screen because, if you guys recall, um, the main diva on the main screen is basically who you are trying to improve the affection levels of. So if you hold down, as you can tell, Ranka's affection level is currently maxed out at level 60 because she's my waifu. Of course, everything prioritizes to her first. <laughs> so there's really no reason for you to um, increase the affection level of a uh, fully maxed out diva. However, I'm sure out there, there's going to be a few divas, uh, even Basara, who is not maxed out yet. And of course, the thing you should probably be doing right now is going into the diva page or a room basically and um, max out the affection levels of whichever remaining diva that you currently have. Now there is definitely a reason behind it. I mean affection levels initially in the past had no um, point being there uh, aside from maybe maxing out the affection level will give you special voice sequences and all that kind of stuff. But Ever since they introduced the episode plates that actually require the affection levels to be maxed out to give you a good high score, um, that's mainly the reason why you should max out your remaining divas that are not your husband though or wife who's um, currently in the last few days of Bhutan and Cross. So this part here, or rather all the information I'm about to toss out to you guys, is very situational because if you guys have been subscribing to the Utamaku Pass or the Special Pass that is recently known as, you'll be got getting a lot of goodies along the way if you have been continuously subscribed uh, since it, it, its introduction. So I have been subscribing faithfully. Well, technically there were one or two months where I messed up because finances were tight, but still, generally, Mostly faithfully. <laughs> so yeah, so I've purposely not given gifts to my divas today because of this video's production. So yeah, anyway, like I said, Min Mei. So I have not maxed out Min Mei's affection level, so I'm just gonna give Min Mei gifts just for an example. If you guys notice, ever since the announcement of the game's closure, Dana has actually increased the amount of gifts that you can give per day. Um, to a single diva. There is also one other thing that they have actually included um, in the update which I did not mention in the past because uh, it wasn't really something that I considered to be very important but here I am talking about it now which is now you can give every single diva three gifts a day. So yes, let's take a look at the gift tab and immediately you can see here there is the quantity 3. So yeah, so Min Mei is asking for uh, goods to decorate the room, that kind of stuff, which is not the phrase that you're looking for 
or Min Mei because Min Mei's favorite item is actually the bowl of ramen from Nyan Nyan. So um, yeah, so she's supposed to ask like for something to eat. But since she's asking for something else, if you guys have been subscribing to the special pass, you'll be probably getting this uh, premium gift. And technically, when you give this gift, no matter what the diva asks for, it will always give you the 100% additional points uh, for the affection level. So I'm going to give three of this to, to Min Mei because you can give three items now per day. Um, and I'm going to get that 100% boost. So as you can tell, there we go. So 3000 points times two. And yeah, I'm very close to maxing out Min Mei already, aside from the, you know, the points that you generally regenerate over time. You know, it's it's a slow method, but eventually, as it accumulates, it will gather quite a bit. So I'm just two levels away from maxing out Min Mei. So there are two other divas that have yet to max out, and that belongs to Basara and Cheryl. Uh, it's not like that. I, don't support my bro Basara, but it just happens that the ladies come first. <laughs> Alright, so same thing. As you can tell, Basara has three quantities you can give as well. So is he asking for food? Because Basara is technically a food person as well. So yeah. Uh, sadly to say no, so I'm gonna give the premium gifts as well. As you can see, I'm burning through the gifts quite quickly. Initially, before the game announcements of closure, uh, I technically had like 80 plus gifts of the premium gifts, so that's for 4 years, no, I, I would say 3 years of subscribing to the special pass. <laughs> so I've not been using them, so right now during the last part of the game, um, you know, it's technically time to use up all these gifts because, yeah, there's no reason to have any of these gifts remaining around. Um, since the game is about to close, so that's kind of a bummer. So yeah, definitely make use of everything here. Uh, try to fully utilize that hundred percent boost and additional points because why not? Um, so yeah, so I do have Cheryl to do later. So but to reduce the amount of time used to spend talking about all this stuff, let's move on to the next topic. So yeah, anyways, um, the next thing is. We're going to talk about um, VOPs. So I'm sure most of you who have also subscribed to the Valkyrie part, no, uh, special pass and all that kind of stuff, or even gotten through events, you probably have remembered there is the um, accelerated program item that could shorten the duration of a VOP. Say, let's say for example, I'm going to shorten um, Maybe let's shorten this one because it's six hours. So every item of the accelerated program reduces one hour of the VOP's duration. So technically we have six hours here because the 49 minute remaining is considered a single hour. So yeah, it's best to be using this when like uh, we have a 59 minute mark remaining. So yeah, you don't waste it. Don't use on VOPs that have like 6 minutes remaining uh, aside from the 3 hours. So if you want to fully utilize the usage, make sure the you know the minutes remaining drop into the 59 minute zone before using the item because that's when you can you know get the most out of your users. So I'm gonna use it on this thing. So as you can tell, I have 200 <laughs> accelerated programs. So since the game is closing, why not just fully utilize these items, you know, and it helps with getting resources to power up your episode plates that you'll eventually be getting. Because if you guys remember the update video I did um, for Utah My Cross Closure, we talked about the free gachas that are coming to the game uh, soon. Technically, tomorrow is the first day that it begins. Every single day from tomorrow onwards uh, to the game's closure, there is a free template pool. So it's going to give us a lot of chance to try and attain all the missing costumes that we are short of for whichever remaining divas um, that we are short of collecting the costumes for. So that's why I 
highly suggested. Please don't vote for six star episode plates. Um, within the, you know, uh, questionnaires from Twitter about which particular episode plates you want to get for free. Go for the seven star plates. Six star plates you can easily attain from all these free gacha pools. So please play smart. <laughs> so I'm gonna use, uh, technically, let's see. It's six hours here, right? So I'm gonna use up six of the items. As you can tell, I have like 200 over, so it's, it's not really that much of a pinch. So we're gonna use it, shorten the duration, and of course, we get to reuse the Valkyrie teams after that. So if you're, if you're grinding for the current event, um, doing this is actually very essential when it comes to collecting resources like the uh, Viva plushies and of course all the resources for powering up all your episode plates so yeah play smart about it um and okay speaking of the event itself right now we're going through the red boss event i'm sure you guys are probably very tired from playing the red boss event especially when you have inactive friends uh our teammates you know it, in my team right now um they aren't helping a lot of them are not you know, um, playing as team players, a lot of them are just solo killing their own raid bosses. So, I mean, technically, it is probably the thing you should be doing, especially if you have a lot of um, the raid boss passes, radars. Like, we have 26 radars right now, and the thing we're going to talk about here for utilizing your items, um, I'm, I'm just going to lower the audio for the game. A bit here because I don't want to get copyright strike. <laughs> okay, so the thing that you need to pay attention during the raid boss events um, is basically the captain badges. So the captain badges basically give you a full charge of the Necros cannon. As you can tell, over the years I've been accumulating a whole bunch. I will definitely not be able to fully utilize everything because you know every day we only given like two radars so technically it's two cannon medals used per day aside from what you can attain from playing regular songs if you're lucky enough to attain them if not um you know through the daily missions as team members you know the rewards they get from the lobby itself you get two additional red passes radars and of course you get the um atters for which recharging your your AP so yeah anyways so basically the captain passes if you can whenever you can use them please use them so I'm gonna just show an example I'm gonna call out a red boss right now um, and of course this is probably one of the reasons why I don't see a lot of red bosses appearing um, during <laughs> the event itself because people are probably doing this um, already so just use the Captain Medal, fully charge the Macross Cannon, and just destroy the Red Boss at one go. So yeah, this is probably one of the things that you should be doing right now. Um, and you know, fully utilizing whatever remaining items that you currently have. And of course, this is going to help you boost in ranking position right now. As you can tell, I'm quite far behind because I'm busy recording all the archiving stuff and uh, you know, not playing the game <laughs> but still I'm doing what I can uh, so yeah so this is my suggestion so aside from you know regular events where you can use the um, energy ethers to you replenish your energy if you guys don't know as you can tell I've got like 600 energy ethers <laughs> that's a lot um, but the thing is I don't have the time to grind Uta Macross like I want to but Considering that, I, this is the time period that I have actually been playing so much of Utah Cross compared to my regular days when I'm not worried that the game is ending. <laughs> this is the time period that I've actually played the most of Utah Cross uh, outside of archiving the game, so that's saying a lot. <laughs> and now that I'm actually unsubscribed to the special pass i don't have that many skip tickets to use to help me you know grind as well so i'm feeling the pain for those of you who are free to play once again 
uh, you know, there were a few times that I had to play free to play as well. So don't worry, guys. I already know what the pinch feels like. But this time round, I'm feeling exceptionally pinched, especially since I'm trying to clear all the resources that I have. So yeah. Okay, moving along. The next thing we're probably going to talk about is the resources. All right, so let's dive into the Diva page and we're going to talk about you know the resources that you actually have um, dormantly lying around without you noticing. This one probably a lot of people might mi uh, mislook over, you know. Um, so first things first, if you guys have not um, unlocked all the Valkyries, I'm probably sure you guys won't be bothered to unlock all the Valkyries because there's really minimum benefit to unlocking all the Valkyries, including powering up all the Valkyries to its maximum level, which is the, the, the culture level as you can see. Because Valkyries basically only give you certain special things when used in the live performances. Um, as you can tell from all the videos that I've been archiving on the channel last few days. So Valkyrie aside is the probably the most least important thing. The other thing you probably need to do is the costume upgrade. So as you can tell, while I'm still trying to archive certain things, a lot of the alternate colored costumes I've yet to unlock because that is part of my archiving process as well. Eventually I'll get to it. So if you have yet to power up all the costumes and unlock all their alternate colored versions, I highly recommend you to do this because every time you level up a costume here, you gain singing stones. As you can tell in the top right hand corner, I have like a whole what load of singing stones now and these are from grinding the game recently um, especially if you take note of my um, last video's recommendation play all those songs that you have yet to play try and attain the singing stones and these singing stones are technically where they came from <laughs> that's a lot of singing stones so <clears throat> considering that um, there is currently a featured gacha banner that guarantees 5 star episode plates and higher for every single plate pool. This is the best time to try and attain all the missing costumes that you are lacking of. So yes, so gain all the singing stones from powering up all the costumes here. As you can tell on this highlighting Basara's costume, of course you can do so by highlighting everyone as well. So. As you can see, generally, I have already powered up every single costume except for those with the alternate colors. So there's a few pieces here and there of singing stones still dominantly lying around in this section. Alright, so moving along, next thing we're gonna talk about is basically this particular part, which is the most important tab here, which is the episode list. So this is definitely where you can take note of which costumes you are currently missing, or rather have yet to unlock. 7 star episode plate costumes, sadly to say, you will never see a shaded grey banner here till you've actually attained a copy of its 6 star episode plate form. So yes, if you really want to know what 7 star episode plates you are missing from your collection, you will definitely have to visit the Utah Macross official wiki page, go into the section for 6 star episode plates, and then the top row, the entire section there is all the available 7 star episode plates available in the game. From there, check which costumes you are currently missing for and that's probably the best way to gauge what episode plate you should vote for for each diva that Dana is asking to gift out as free episode plates to the fans. So yes. Very important information here. Hopefully you guys are not falling asleep from all this information. I know it's pretty dry. Uh, it's a lot to take in as well, but it is the advanced advice for Utah Macross. So this video is technically the most important thing you probably should be listening to right now that we are considering remaining 48 days of Utah Macross left. <laughs> all right, so yes. So inside here, there is one thing you really need to do, which is very important and very time consuming. So this is what I highly recommend you to do, especially if you're trying to get more episode orbs to unlock costumes. 
So as you can tell, there's a pink strip here of information atop the blue button which usually states that there are episode plates with costume points yet to be attained. So just giving you an example here, as you can tell, there are episode plates with costume points. As you can tell, this is 50 out of 53. So there's three costume points here that have been yet to attain. And of course, there's this episode plate here, which has 45 points. So I claim zero out of 45. So these numbers are very crucial when it comes to unlocking brand new costumes that you have yet to attain. So I'm just going to show you an example. All right, so I'm going to pay for this. And this is why using the accelerator programs for the VOPs is going to be essential because it's going to run dry of materials for unlocking costume points very quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to touch the three points because it's going to make things very uneven. So if you guys want to unlock costumes that are still grayed out like this, you can use episode ops. So you just have to tap the blue tab. And of course, these are the remaining episode ops that I have. It is not a lot, to be honest. 40 plus, it's not a lot. Um, technically, unlocking three costumes, you're gonna run dry. Um, so yeah, so this is where the rest of the information I'm gonna start talking about from here uh, is gonna be very important. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna unlock costumes for Basara. So I'm gonna highlight Basara. I'm going to deselect Minmei. So we're going to show only Basara costumes. So as you can tell, I have two costumes of Basara that I'm missing from the collection, but technically there should be more because there are some seven star pieces of place I don't have of Basara. So that's kind of a bummer. First things first, we're going to deselect. We're going to tap this right top button here, which is going to show us the uh, costumes with the next upcoming completion so as you can tell this one has 405 episode points away from unlocking an episode off so this is what you are going to do it where it's going to take a lot of time a lot of effort um, but it's going to be very essential if you are the kind of person who is going to archive costumes like myself so 405 episode points away so we're going to try and get the episode off from this costume so as you can tell, it's not a lot. Um, I've maxed out the costume points on this plate, this one as well. 1 point and 45 points. From the looks of it, it's nowhere close to 400 plus costume points. So I'm going to skip this entire thing. Even though there is a 45 points waiting for me to claim, but there's no reasons for you to utilize the resources that you have on costume points that won't benefit you from attaining that episode off. You might as well use it for other things because like i said powering up these episode plates are going to waste a lot of resources so there's really no reason for you to do this um, unless you can assure yourself the unlocking of or the attaining of the episode off so yes uh, 600 points let's see if we can actually try and get this episode off um let's see 20 points from here 70 points from here so we have 90 um 20 110 130 yeah it's not a lot okay so we're skipping this costume as well so this i'm just generally giving you a gauge of what you should be doing um so you get the gist of it uh, and try and do this for yourself all right so there's quite a bit of points here so this one has 150 that's quite a bit and of course there's 150 here as well so we have 300 points already how many do we need so it's 765 that is a lot okay so this is definitely not going to do as well so um let's try another costume i'm just gonna move on to the costumes until i probably try lock one now as you can tell there are some episode plates here um that are not fully evolved if you still have rare up stars but for me personally i've already used them up you know it's kind of a bummer if not you probably would have boosted a great amount of points from unlocking the episode pop so that's one other thing you can probably look at so it seems like a lot of basara's costumes are bust um 
250 points here. That's not too bad. 30 points. Quite a bit of points here. 80. So yeah, then 200 points. I think this might be able to do it. How many points to 850? Seems viable. But may not be as well. Yeah, because it's like 250 plus 200, 450, 480. Yeah, it's not a lot. So, as you can tell, it, it's it's a real grind to try and unlock costume points. But once it hits like close to the 1200 mark, which is exactly a full amount of points to attain an episode of, you can probably skip this diva. So, yeah. Okay, so didn't really get to show the best optimal thing um, from this experience, but you get the idea. Um, so if you have points remaining on that costume, unless you can try and obtain, unless, no, not try, unless you can confirm yourself to attain the episode orb, uh, I wouldn't recommend you to spend any materials to unlock costume points from those episode plates because it's just gonna be a waste of resources. Because we're gonna attain a lot of episode plates in the upcoming few days. So you might as well re retain your resources for those upcoming episode plates. Uh, especially since I'm gonna show you an example um, tomorrow when the first free template pool comes around and I'm gonna do a huge gacha pool with all the remaining singing stones that I have on the guaranteed five star episode plate banner as well so look out for that video in the future anyways um let's move on uh, let me just take a look at my notes here so I don't miss out on anything um yeah so all right so the next thing we're probably going to talk about I'm going to lower the game volume again okay let's see all right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is skip tickets. So you guys probably know how to play the Red Boss event already, I assume. So if you're trying to get radars to, to try and fully utilize all your Captain Meadows to Macross Cannon the shit out all the bosses. <laughs> the optimal way is definitely to use skip tickets to try and gain radars, but it's really a hit or miss thing. Um, and of course, if you want to gain the most of us at once, at once, at one go, uh, I apologize for that audio mishap there. Um, yeah, my, my my MacBook Pro is suffering quite a bit with all the data that I'm doing recently. <laughs> it's an old laptop right now. It's probably close to three years old. I should probably try to invest into a new one. But I'm just starting a new job. Life is hard uh, as a YouTuber and as a human being. Harsh. It's, it's a harsh world, so yeah. Anyways, um, I'm trying my best here, so uh, bear with me if you can't hear my audio, or maybe the, the game flickers and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's really coming down on me hard. Anyways, um, we are talking about attaining the radars for the Red Boss events, or even resources for upgrading your episode plates. By now, this kind of thing should be... Um, second nature to you guys if you've been playing the game regularly like I have if you guys only play this subsequently um, you probably should listen to this carefully first of all to gain radars the most efficient way is always to play the lowest level song um, oh yeah um, I'll talk about this filter system as well so anyways um, and of course lowest level means the least amount of energy used However, every time you play a song, it gives you a chance to attain a radar for the Red Boss event. If you guys have read the tutorial or listened to the tutorial on the Red Boss event, you will know what I'm talking about. Now, if you want to get a whole stack of radars, you are going to need the help of skip tickets. So skip tickets, they don't come by easily. Free to play players, I know your pain. Um, each day you're only given nine copies so it's really hard to attain radars with that one single chance so eight energy times nine basically you have only got a requirement of 81 energy per try so if you are at the rank I'm currently at which is 168 or even higher you guys have a whole buttload of energy as you can tell um, definitely you can fully utilize all the nine skip tickets you are given free per day 
but somehow or rather if you are still subscribed to the special pass special pass members um get to have 18 free tickets per day so it's double of the free to play so it's gonna give you a lot of more chances to try and attain radars um for the red boss event but seriously why are you still subscribed to the special pass there's no reason to um unless you just really really want to give dana your money you know um right i personally i would save that money and buy official macross goods you know that kind of stuff there's other ways to fund the macross franchise uh officially <laughs> okay so skip tickets so as you can tell i just gonna give an example um probably need to play a song that i've actually played before to show you the skip tickets because as always there's always a requirement so first things first the friends you bring along um definitely you want to bring along friends who has the highest amount of luck on the episode plate of course there are some of them out there that has like um six star episode plates with plus 25 luck there we go so these are the kind of friends that you probably want to bring along um then of course personally for your own self you will want to bring your own best luck base setup so everything here has plus 20 luck i myself don't have a plus 25 six star episode plate um i don't spam the game like a whaler so that's the reason why i don't have such luxurious luck <laughs> but this is generally what you should have even for free to play players this is probably the bare minimum you should probably attain so why you want to have a full luck setup is because you want to attain all those gold notes that appear um, during the live itself. Gold notes are the ones that give you the resources for your episode plates. Um, of course, if you're talking about the event gacha tickets um, event, which is the first event of the month, um, this is the way you attain the event tickets to play the event song. So now that we are not in that particular event, luck is used to attain resources, which is very crucial right now for all the free plates we're gonna get soon so this is one of the reasons why skip tickets they've actually increased the amount of skip tickets you can use per day as you can tell now it's 72 initially in the past it was only 36 you can use per day so if you are still i guess subscribed to the special pass you can probably somewhat utilize this amount of skip tickets usable per day you know you, you, you're only allowed to hold a maximum of 90 skip tickets for those who are subscribed to the special pass for free to play players we are only allowed to hold 30 skip tickets a day and sadly to say we are only given nine free tickets per day so that's kind of a bummer <laughs> anyways like i was saying if you really want to get all the radars you know you just max out the amount of usage nine tickets per day uh, of course i could probably use more um, if I had more energy at this point in time, but you know, that's a lot of tickets. So, mm. anyways, I'm not going to use them right now. There is a chance that you might get the radars from that skip ticket use, but of course, there's also a chance that it might be a dud. If you do attain the radars, you are going to gain nine radars at one go. That is a lot of radars. So, in the past, my own personal experience is. I actually did a 10 skip ticket run and I was using it on a very hard difficulty. Uh, I wasn't gonna risk you know a whole bunch of skip tickets on the easy difficulty. Um, although that's probably the way you can fully gain a huge amount of radars at one go. Uh, but you know I was just playing it safe. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's a hit or miss thing. It's not a 50-50% chance, you know, out of like maybe 10 plays, I only get one song play that is given radars. So it's it's a pretty risky style of play, but you know, if you're trying to get rid of all your captain medals, this is probably the best thing to do. But aside from the Red Boss event itself, skip tickets are here just to help you gain resources. Uh, of course, to less grind the game as much as possible because it is pretty tiring to play a music game. Okay, <laughs> got to disturb my 
past self once again um because while i was rendering the video i realized there's one other thing that i forgot to talk about which i happened to mention um you know at that point of time about the filter system for clearing songs so okay first things first let's get down to what you need to do uh, basically you just have to have the series selection as all basically it will show every single song from every single Macross franchise including Macross Plus. Then of course the filter button is this one. Yep. Click on it. And all you have to do is select this particular icon which basically it shows the any songs that have not been full combo will show up. So once you've selected this basically any difficulty that you touched as you can see the song list will rotate because any songs that you have yet to clear or with a full combo as you can tell if I've selected that that song will disappear so yeah so basically any songs with extreme difficulty for example currently that I'm highlighting we will show um, here on the list so if you're planning to clear songs for singing stones this is the best way to do it so that you won't miss out on any songs Rather than going through the entire song list, you know, over and over again, uh, just looking for songs that have not been cleared uh, with full combo, because you need to get a full combo status to gain the singing stone rewards at the end of this listing here. So, yeah, if you're grinding to claim all the singing stones to pull from the guaranteed five star and above gacha banner. This is the best way to do it. So once you tap on like very hard, then of course all the songs will change because these are the songs that you've yet to clear very hard for a full combo. Then of course if you go hard, same thing. So of course the easier songs is definitely the ones you should aim for because those are the guaranteed singing stones that you can attain uh, personally for yourself. Of course, if you can only muster up to hard and very hard, you know, why not just go for it? And of course, don't forget the event songs um, that change every day. You know, today is Runner, Lin Min Mei version. So, you know, make sure you clear all the difficulties for the Singing Stones. As you can see, the filter system doesn't work for the event tab. So yeah. So anyways, that's about it for this method of clearing, um, you know, the songs difficulties for Singing Stones. I'll pass you back to my past self to explain the rest of the stuff. Alright, so let's move along with the next important thing. Um, let me just check on my notes here. I, I'm, I'm really not scripting my videos, so as you can tell, that's why I take some time to give you guys information. Going through each video, oh, that we already talked about that. Making use of daily event songs to gain materials. Yep, that's what we just went through. Powering up. Alright, so this is probably the other most important thing and it's the last information I'm probably gonna give you uh, yeah so all right let's dive into the episode plates um, that we are talking about powering up all right so um, earlier I mentioned that if you have episode plates or rather if you have the rare up star items around and you want to power up episode plates for costume points and that kind of stuff you might want to take that in consideration later after going through this point of information and that is we're going to power up episode plates there are importance uh, to gaining high score if you guys remember Uta grade has special episode plates locked behind that grading and usually these episode plates are generally very very powerful so your Uta grade is here if you don't know and they are it is basically based off um, the high scores on each of the individual individual songs inside this game so if you go to the live tab all right and if you see your high score let's say for example in the high score for this particular song as you can tell it's about uh, three million seven hundred eighty nine thousand you know and so on and so forth as you can tell the Uta grade or Uta rate is here so it takes the three digits the first three digits generally and it becomes the Uta rate so after that basically um, you know they, they unlock point 
they they unlock stuff uh, accordingly. Let's see. So these are the rankings against friends. Yeah. So not really important, but anyways, um, in order to gain those episode plates, you know, for your rate, and we're gonna tap this here. We're gonna see the rates. So these are currently the top few songs that have got the highest high score no? because you can see that this is in thousands because these are the 10 million high scores that I managed to attain especially if you guys played the past few events where they require you to have 10 million high scores on each of the colors <laughs> so yeah then as you can tell I only worked as hard as I was needed and then of course you can see here I'm like 97 rate points away from the next rate and of course um, you can you can see like how many rate points you need to gain a certain rank and of course at every single rank they'll have rewards so it is climb the ladder you know you gain all the special rewards of course the fragments for the rare stars are important as well fragments for the secret boards as well and of course the importance of these exclusive episode plates that you can only attain from Uta Raid. So if you guys don't know what in the world I'm talking about here, it means that you are definitely lacking a lot of information regarding Uta Macross and what have you been doing the last four years. You should have been probably watching all my videos if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now. So yeah, anyways, you guys probably have seen the illustrations of the combined banners of all these episode plates already during the recent um, fashionable Macross collaboration with Uta Macross finale <laughs> yes it was the whole stretch of um, tapestry with all the episode plates combined together so yeah these are where you get these episode plates um, so yes Utari. as you can tell there are some episode plates I've still yet to attain I think there was a set of two episode plates um, the one with Cheryl and um, I think I can't remember who else that I'm missing, but anyways, I've got a lot of stuff to grind here. So yes, getting high scores for Uta Raid is the next important thing you probably should be doing. Um, you know, if you especially want to archive the illustrations from these Uta Raid exclusive episode plates. So we're going to talk about the episode plates you should power up to try to attain good high score. So yes, this video is exceptionally long, but it's definitely going to be worth your time, especially if you're into all this grinding for archiving purposes or, you know, personal gain. Like if you're trying to archive your favorite waifus or husband knows, yeah, this is probably what you need to do. So first things first, we're going to uh, filter out the episode plates. We're going to talk about episode plates with score notes. Um, of course, we're going to highlight for every single divas usage then yeah so we're talking about episode plates with score notes first so these are technically episode plates that you should as you can tell here i have a few that are already curified so as you can tell there are some of them that i've yet to do so which are essential like these episode plates from the crossover live series they do give generally good high score and they come with score notes attached to them as well so very very crucial of course, you might want to pay attention to the total scores on the episode plays as well. So go for the more recent um, six-star episode plays. Or if you, you know, we definitely can't Kirafi seven-star episode plays unless you're a whaler. So uh, yeah, that's kind of impossible. So six-star episode plays. That's where, I, that's our market range. <laughs> so yeah. So if you still have rare up stars, as you can tell, there are some episode plays that are not fully powered up. Rare up stars are currently at this point in time the most important resource for high score achievements and episode or, or costume point unlocking rare up stars they are the thing man you gotta go for them all right so episode place so what you need is a good set of maybe um, each color so yellow pink blue episode plates maxed out here fight um, and of course you know, the bare minimum Kirafi is of course plus 5 luck, means they are able to unlock this special glittery image once you've fully slotted in all the luck notes. So if you guys are 
not sure what the lock notes are. This is what I was talking about. So every time you unlock the secret board, it gives you the leaf. Then you can slot in a note as well. Um, yeah, so it helps boost all your high score achievements, as you can tell here, all the excellent chance boost, you know, that kind of stuff. We've explained this before in how to attain high score. So yeah, now of course you have to pay attention to episode plates with the long duration skills and the short duration skills. And of course, we need, you know, this score notes on these. So episode plates with score notes are definitely the top priority for high score achievements. Of course, pay attention to the total score on the episode plates as well. And of course, who can use these episode plates, especially you might want to focus on the waifus. So maybe add the waifus in the filter system. So I'm going to add Ranka. And you can see a whole bunch of SPF plates will disappear. So if generally the, your waifus are the ones that you're constantly using at this point in time during the last spurt of the game, you definitely want to focus powering up episode plates that are usable by them. All right. So the aside from the episode plates with the score notes, the next thing you want to pay attention to is Let's remove the score note. We're going to look at the live skill. The next thing you want to pay attention to are these two, which is the long score improvement and the short score improvement. So we're going to highlight these episode plates. As you can tell, there are some of them that are not fully powered up. Um, so yeah, if you still have the rare up stars, this is probably where you want to toss them in. So you need to have a good set of episode plates like this especially for the score improvements for your waifus or husbandos. These are essential for high score achievements. So definitely power up these and the score achieving episode plates. So yes, very, very crucial. So pay attention to this. So the next thing we're going to talk about is basically the secret boarding and the kirafying purposes. Okay, so let's go back to the score notes. Um, yeah, so first things first, as you can tell, um, there are not a lot of episode plates here that I want to power up. So I'm going to maybe select my other waifus. I'm going to mark ray. And there we go. So this episode plate, like I said, the crossover live ones are especially important. Um, and of course, the other episode plates I want to talk about later, um, which are important for high scoring as well because those episode plates don't actually have special notes attached to them. So yeah, having special notes is one thing, but a good total score is also another thing. So crossover live episode plates, very important, you know, especially those that can be used by multiple divas like this. These are the ones that you definitely want to purify. So I'm just going to show you an example here. I hope I have enough secret stones and all that. So as you can tell, I don't have a lot of duplicate copies of this. So if we tap this pink button here, we're going to use the secret stones um, to unlock the secret boards. So for a full Kira 5 of the episode plate, you need to use 5 of these stones, basically. Yeah, so it's going to be a whole waste of it. So I don't have a lot of it because they are extremely hard to attain. Um, if you recall the last few videos I did about high scoring. So pay attention. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use them now because there's a lot to consider um, which episode plates to generally power up. So this is definitely one to consider. The other ones that I'm talking about is yes if you recall what I just said earlier in this video it is regarding um, the special episode plates given in Uta Red. There's a main reason why those are very hard to attain and Generally, they are very, very powerful. Wait, why are they so low level? Okay, we're going to go six star episode plates. So let's take a look at the special episode plates by Uta Red. Where are they? Uh, I should probably change this to total. There we go. So they're all bumped up to the top. So these are the episode plates. As you can tell, Uta Red episode plates when fully powered up. There are 3,900 total score, best episode plays in the game for gaining high score, although they do not come with special notes attached to them, but they are usable by all the divas. But these episode plays are your number one priority to fully Kirafy if you have these resources to do so. And of course, make sure you Kirafy a set 
for short duration and of course um, the long duration as you can tell I have both pink series short and long Uta Red special episode plates so there's a lot of them and you have to start working hard to uh, unlock the remaining few it's, it's a lot of hard work <laughs> but I, I assure you it is going to be worth your effort because like we were talking earlier you know the rewards from Uta Red are pretty good as well um, if you recall seeing the um, Rare Art Star fragments and of course the secret stone fragments you know collecting a hundred of these fragments are going to give you one of these items which is going to help you attain more powerful episode plates and of course costume points for your archiving everything links together in time I cross like I've been saying in all my tutorial videos if you don't do one you're gonna suffer along the way so guys i know it's an extremely long video but if you have gone through this entire video let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below is my advice actually useful to you guys as always did you learn something new or did you miss out on something that i've mentioned in this video that you probably never thought about it you know as usual let me know everything in the comments down below leave a like on this video if you actually appreciate the content that I've been producing <laughs> for four over years and of course the archiving of Uta Macross. Don't forget to subscribe because technically my YouTube channel is now a history museum for Uta Macross. It's sad to say but you know. And of course subscribing for more future content aside from Uta Macross definitely there's going to be videos about Macross in the future because this channel is now moving towards uh, Macross News Network uh, plus you know all the other otaku stuff that I'm doing and you know just hang around with me you know, chill and <laughs> let's have fun whatever there is around all the pop culture stuff around the world until then guys thank you guys so much for watching through this entire video I know it's very long it's very draggy it's like a school lesson for all time across oh my goodness I realized that I'm not a teacher. <laughs> uh, okay. Could I add this to my resume? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video or maybe even tonight's release of the Paper Fools archive video for Virgin Story. You know, there's a lot more. Surprisingly, there's a lot more Otaku Across content coming out uh, for this channel. Uh, it's aside from the archive stuff still the gacha videos, there's still the last spurt for um, Utah Macross month, final month. It's a lot of stuff, considering that the game is coming to an end. So I'll see you guys soon. Until then, bye!